quite variable actually for a while. But uh, no, for a while for me. Alright, everybody be careful. There shouldn't be a lot of snakes out this time of year. Snake? No. <laughs> yes, I saw a huge one just this morning. I'm no kidding. way. <laughs> Eating a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is Rubus species. Alright, this particular one is, uh, is dewberry. Alright, you'll notice these are palmately compound leaves. Okay, you sometimes see them as three leaves. More commonly, you see them uh, as five leaves, especially as they begin to mature. All right. Now, uh, that is a good way to remember them. Uh, you really can't get many leaf samples here because they hurt like crazy. Mm. Uh, foliage is very much rugose. All right, so it looks it's got a very much of a quilted look to it. Okay, and the uh, margins are very regular, like doubly toothed margins. All right. Obviously, you have uh, glandular and these other types of uh, spines that occur that hurt like crazy. Right, so don't don't grab one, but they're relatively distinct. Okay, so if you got these five, three or five leaflets. Obviously, you can kind of tell it's a, a pretty good little ground cover. All right, nobody plants dewberry in their front yard by the way because it, it does this it'll just go everywhere it goes wild out in the exactly and that's what this is i didn't put this out here all right it's all over the, exactly isn't it all over the front that's yard? it that's, so don't put this in your front yard or in anybody else's front yard unless you really don't like them I unless suppose. you want like a barrier plant with your the there you go. so but the problem is that they i mean it'll, it'll just go all over everywhere and then the uh the heights are sort of like based upon basically whatever it can grow onto. All right, so so you'll see these anywhere from, but if it's just growing out in the field, it'll typically get to be about two foot tall, growing up on itself. Has this reddish cast. You'll notice that it, uh, especially in the winter time, has a very much a reddish cast, and then the new foliage will come out and be a light green, sort of fade into this sort of a medium dark green. Okay. Any questions? Obviously, these are. Dewberries, blackberries, raspberries, all right, all those are in rubus. Uh, dewberries and blackberries, sort of a darker color. They are, again, uh, aggregates of single uh, seeded fruit, okay? And the flowers on this are uh, somewhat similar to the strawberry flower that we saw previously. And the fruit's the same, right? Strawberries and dewberries are both aggregates. Yeah, uh, yes, botanically they're, they're the same. Uh, a little bit different, but not almost not enough to, to mention. And then, uh, typically, the commercially uh, grown blackberries are uh, biennials. So the first year they're making vegetation, the second year they're flowering and forming fruit. And the first year is called floricane. And then the second, or uh, first year is called primocane, and the second year is called floricane. And now there are some blackberries that are being formed up in Arkansas at the University of Arkansas that will actually bloom in fruit in their first year. Awesome. So on floricanes. So that. That'd be good for the industry. Yeah, they 